This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. In the Gilgamesh story, dreams have been given great prominence, especially since they play a critical part in explaining the unfolding of events. The two main characters, Gilgamesh and Enkidu, constantly dream about things and events that contribute positively to their lives as well as help give meaning to the story. In the period of the story, the Mesopotamians held the common belief that dreams were a method of communication between human beings and their ancestors. In the dream where a meteor dropped from the sky, Gilgamesh's mother, Nin Sun, interpreted it as a sign of the arrival of a powerful person who would seek to challenge Gilgamesh's authority. She also said that after Gilgamesh fails to take down the assailant, an interpretation arrived from Gilgamesh's revelation that he tried to lift it, but it proved too heavy. All the people of Uruk came round to see it. Ninsan also claimed that they, Gilgamesh and the stranger, would combine forces to become a formidable team that would live up to their greatness. This interpretation comes to pass when he, Gilgamesh, meets with Enkidu in the duel at the wedding banquet. As it happens, the two struggle with each other before they eventually agree to become friends. The importance of the dream in this instance was to prepare Gilgamesh for the event. As far as the development of the plot is concerned, this dream and its subsequent interpretation help create a sense of anticipation. The reader finds him slash herself pushing through the story, hoping to find out whether the dream came true. Enkidu dreams about his own death in a vision that depicts him in front of a council of gods. In the dream, Enkidu believes that Shamhat is the one responsible for his weakened state, but later, with the intervention of Shamash, he is able to see things from a broader perspective and blesses the woman. In line with the dream, Enkidu falls sick for 12 days and eventually passes on, urging Gilgamesh not to forget him. By the time this dream appears in the story, the reader is already aware that it is bound to come true, but one reads on, hoping that Enkidu would somehow find a loophole that would take him away from the fate predicted by the dream. The prophetic dreams that both Gilgamesh and Enkidu have are used to show man's weaknesses in front of destiny. This is because, even as powerful as the two individuals are, they cannot change tragic events that lay in their life paths. These dreams become some sort of satire as the two individuals have the strength to handle most of life's unexpected challenges, but they cannot summon enough authority to handle things that they are sure are coming. Enkidu tries to find a scapegoat by blaming the Lady Shamhat for his own shortcomings in his pre-death premonition. His disappointment at a weak man's death is evident in the story, and one would be tempted to blame him for not responding to earlier challenges adequately. Dreams have been used repeatedly in the epic story with the aim of emphasizing the Mesopotamian cultural and religious beliefs. It is less likely that the dreams would have had great significance to individuals from different cultural backgrounds, and the reader is also left wondering whether the events in the story would have come out the same way had the interpreters given different explanations. This means that the dreams could also have been used to create some form of rhetorical questioning in the minds of the readers. This essay on the importance of dreams in the Epic of Gilgamesh was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.